Wait, are these like consumable things that increase my maximum FP? Like... Oh! How long could I have done this? Oh. Also, you might notice behind the, uh, I have a whole bunch of, like, white paper here. I was just looking at the camera, I saw a whole bunch of white behind the sword. Some of that is, like, the cases for, like, the two new releases here still. But I don't have space on my shelf for them, and I don't know where to put them. And here's, like, a color list of, you know, colors that my truck would have came in initially. Stuff. My end void cube and all sorts of random crap that's there right now. Um, should I save some of these bigger ones for when I need to recover it? These are raising it. Oh, there's the recovering one. And I was like, I thought these are both HP. I mean, maybe I should save some of them so I can like start spamming some FP stuff out in the field. Eh, screw it. All right, well, just do an Assassin's Creed air assassination there. I better do. Apparently, there was like an Assassin's Creed VR thing that released recently. And, you know, I've covered the Assassin's Creed series on the channel, and, you know, we'll probably do the next game, Odyssey, in, uh, you know, starting next year if I have the time. Come on. But I don't have a VR headset or anything. And I only saw, like, some mentions of it on social media. I didn't really see any advertising for it. But apparently, that's, like, a thing. Um. Does you wait? We'll get you for this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. I have coins on me. Drop the flower tab. Um, and that's something else that I wanted to 3D print at some point was an Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. Because apparently there are 3D printing designs for that. It's pretty crazy. Just take it, just to take a little bit of effort, like assembling it and stuff. Where would the last dudo be? Would he just be waiting here and bomb the thing for me? Oh. Nice if I could save out in the field. Just in case this guy ends up, you know, murderizing me. And then I go back the last 36 minutes, 22 seconds. Well, minus whatever amount of time it was on the stream starting soon screen. Uh, I don't know, man. Bam. Okay, he comes back. Okay. Maybe that'll just... Well, for now, he could have only gone this way. But, like... Eh. I'm so confused! Uh... Because he for sure dipped in that way. Is he just like hiding somewhere here? What? I heard. Ah! Yeah, I'm not gonna take any chances with this roaming legendary. Just screw that. Let's just go ahead and do this. There's still only ever like one star. Bam. Please. All right. Let's give it a go. I'm so bad at video games. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I thought that timing would be a whole lot later considering the way that is with the all hit thing. Nah, I don't know. Okay, hold on. Just do this. I'm gonna try this one more time. I still mistimed it. Feels like you really need to, like, memorize and muscle memory it. Can't quite just react to what seems to be the right timing. Like in some later games. Oh. 
What the heck did you steal? Like my gotcha capsule? I don't know what you took from me even. I don't know if I want it back. Maybe you can have it. Gosh dang it, maybe it's bills and stuff. You can cover it if you want. Oh, oops. Okay. I guess that's the right timing. I suppose. Paunch? Not doing a whole lot of damage with Mallow here. Oh, there we go. That was the uh, bigger damage sign. Paunch. Okay. There we go. I'm figuring out the timing. Oh, well. I would have sworn that I timed it right there, but apparently I didn't. Monster toss. Oh my, look how much damage that did. Holy crap. Yeah, it's enough already. Here's your junk. I don't know what that is. It looks like the mud ball that you throw up Pokemon in the Safari Zone. <laughs> wow, got the coins back and Picked up a micro bomb. Oh, the bomb, the one thing about. At first, I was like, "What the hell?" Woo. You had enough coffees? Like that's one heck of a thing to pick up. Holy crap! Oh, fully restored after that. Cool. No. 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 Come on. See you later, assholes. Fine, please. Let me just go blow up the wall now. Ooh. Let me just go disrespect my surroundings over this way. Cause some uh, public destruction that got Detective Pikachu arrested and his badge and gun confiscated. Uh, you found a bomb. Now we'll bust through in no time. That was like Investigation 4, I think it was, of Detective Pikachu Returns. For anyone that doesn't get the reference. All right, you stand back. Only the greatest story ever told in a video game. Let's follow the tracks to the end. But the star, it's probably in the back. Let's mosey along now. Oh, guess you're right. I'd just be a burden on you fellows. Well, I'm counting on you to find the kids here. Well, thanks a lot, Mario. Guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. Ma! There's a weird fucking cat outside. It looks like Mario the fucking the chaos. Man, what a good meme. <laughs> that is, though. That was one of the classics right there. Ah, gosh dang, I didn't realize I had that much... Didn't have that much space to move back with. Ah! That did, never mind. Okay. See you later. Is it on the original video? Huh. Still a classic meme. Ah, oh, well. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah, that somehow doesn't surprise me. Seems like the kind of thing that would be. I'm just going to go, I think. I'm not going to get Pokemon Scarlet violated again. We. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Thank you. But yeah. Oh, interesting. How do I... Like that, I guess. I have 36 FP. But yeah. Hello? Yeah. Still- Whoa. Boss? I just- Do I just walk into you? It's so weird without any sound effects. Good day, my name is Punicello, bomb maker extraordinaire. Punicello? Or Punchinello? Never heard of ya. You say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You, you will make me famous. Wow, I'm getting some serious flashbacks to the Metal Gear Solid 2 Fat Man boss right now. Um. Okay. Big smackaroo. 
Falcon. Punch. Oh. Thought he was throwing them at me. Okay. And they're all micro bombs. Okay. Will this hit everyone? Okay, it's a single enemy. Let's just do it here anyway. With the power of the blue star in particular, because screw that green one that we found. It's not cool enough. You're blammo. Alright. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if only. Quite an ability it would be, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do this. This one you have to wait so long before pressing A. Oh, never mind. Take it all back. Not bad, not bad. Now let's level things up. Ah, I'm good at video games. Okay. Is this? No. I don't have any multi-target things with Mario. I simply do not. Apart from this, I guess. Alright. What the heck is the timing on this? That? Did I do it? Yes. Do I just have to keep taking them out so they don't blow me up? In which case, I can just keep doing that one attack. Well, I can do. Okay, I got it that time, I think. I am gradually doing damage to the main guy by doing this, though. Ah. Next phase, I guess. Grr! All right, you asked for it. Okay. I mean. I was about to say, did I press A too early that time? Because I didn't see the exclamation point, but I guess I did it. The training paid off. Uh-huh. Big smack. No. Oh. Almost got two into the groove there. Yeah, there's like no visual indicator that says like when I should be pressing that. I just, you know, press A when I feels like the exclamation point was in previous times, roughly. And it seems to be working out. You know, it would be nice if there was like a clear visual indicator. I kind of wish that there was like a version of this game that was like fully remade that had like clear visual indicators and stuff like that. And then like a classic mode that's like this. Must be dreaming, I'm ruined! I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. The final bomb is underneath me. And I had to Google that. I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy. I'm not gonna waste this on you. Who knows what might happen? But yeah. Take your best shot, criminal scum. Yeah, it probably is on a most wanted list. Enough, I've got my pride. <laughs> Dude is the most wanted list. The entire thing. Now you're in for it. Now with all these bombs. Jeebus. Ah, uh, what the heck? Why isn't it working? Ah! Mario. If this thing explodes, we're history. This is a fine mess. Let's scram now. It's not even lit. Oh. Screw me, I guess. It's going, it's gonna blow. No! <laughs> what on earth was that? Tactical flashbang. Well, we won the battle. Now I hope we don't lose the war. Where are Dinah, Might and the Star? Yeah, I guess so. The real star was in the rafters all along. Guess that part of it's been answered. Ah, uh, yes, the important thing. Not like the kids that were apparently trapped in the mines and were probably not caught in that explosion. Come on, Mario, hurry! Whoa! For cutscene thing where Bob here. Well, I also adjust my beanbag chair under my desk. I use a beanbag chair as, like, a leg rest nowadays. Because it's a beanbag chair, it, like, slowly loses its shape as time goes on here and, like, spreads out more across my floor. So from time to time, I need to reach under there and, like, bunch it up into a big ball again. <laughs> I can use my leg rest with some decent height once more. 
back in ye old days of the channel as Allegra's tier, I used to have a juice fridge. I think I used to have a second computer here, like a second desktop, and I used to do a dual PC stream, and it was a massive pain in the butt. And then I had a juice fridge, and nowadays I have a beanbag chair. <laughs> is the uh, is the case. And the beanbag chair is definitely the most comfortable. It doesn't have the same height. The fridge was really hard on the top. So I would sometimes have like a pillow that I put across it. But, you know, hurt my legs. Um, come on. We still have to find Dinah and Might. And report back to the castle. Or whatever the heck Royal Guards and Oblivion might say. I don't know. Uh, I just won't budge. Ah, I hate this stupid thing. Help me here. Give her the minecar a push. Here to read the warning? Forget it, man. Oh, <laughs> away we go. Immediately just drop off into a pit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Did I assume hold left there? Whoa, a mushroom. Hold on, wait. Switch to this. I need to pause it to be able to do that because I have a mushroom up there now. Do I hit Y to use it maybe? Can I jump? Ooh. Oh, this is jarring. But I assume this is how it would have been in the SNES where it's like you have to do like these exact things. I feel- Oh, what? Oh, I guess I have to hold. Oh, God. I gotcha. It's like the angles that you could expect uh, the camera angles of Roller Coaster Tycoon to be like. But they can only be at the exact angles here. So. Oh, that's brakes. A is brakes too. Oh, X is to. I'm holding to the right. What does this look like? To... Hey, uh. Maybe there was something else I needed to do and I should have read the safety before. I am I swear I'm holding to the left, right, left. I swear. <laughs> yeah. This isn't up to code. Oh, it goes on. I turned off my thing too early. Oh, God. I'm playing Donkey Kong Country now. Oh, my goodness. I wonder what a world record for this would look like. We, You can get so many mushrooms. Holy crap. Yeah. Quite the dangerous route here. Oh, it goes on. I keep on turning it off too early, thinking that, like, oh, we're done. So, look, I'm holding it. There's got to be... Oh, I probably have to break and hold it or something for those ones. And break whoa, was... Yeah, why there? Okay, and I can't be zoom zooming there. Oh, God. No, I keep on getting break. I'm used to playing Mario Kart where B is break. No! Yeah. I believe it. Never mind 180 degree turns. What even? Oh, I think I tapped B out of habit from Mario Kart again. <laughs> I, I swear I'm trying my best. Oh man, can I just like? Uh, oh, imagine though. We, we've yet. I need to see a 270 degree turn. That's where it's at. I'm so disappointed. I can't just like jump it onto the other uh, rail there or something. This I can though, right? What? Really? That's actually so rigged. I'm just excited to like this mini game. <laughs> this is uh, certainly something here. Whoa. Oh, it says the controls at the bottom left. Wee. Come on! What would happen if you didn't have enough mushrooms here? Just very slowly go up, maybe? So you never know is that? Yeah, at least I'm not the only one. The heck. Alright. <laughs> Wonder how those kids are doing. Sure wish they'd hurry home. Oh, the horses, ma. I asked Mari to help us out, so I reckon he'll bring him back when he's good and ready. I just have this odd feeling that they'll be dropping in on us any minute now. 
<laughs> Is there only Mario in the cart? You still gotta use a door like everyone else, Ma. Now settle down. Christmas is ruined. We're home. Gracious, they really did drop it on us. Oh, my poor babies. Are you okay? Busta Wolf. The mite, are you hurt? Nah, we're okay, Ma. It's not right, mite. We had fun. I crashed a whole lot. Uh, Mama, Papa. He's been knocked senseless, you poor baby. You're safe now. Yeah, hope they have good insurance. Dinah, haven't I told you often enough to never go into the mines by yourself? That's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have him back. We haven't thanked Mario proper either. I'm so embarrassed. Mario, we can't thank you enough for everything. Especially our roof. Is that the roof, you say? Nah, that don't matter none. Right, Pa? Are you kidding me? Hey, nothing at all. You just leave any repairs to me. Me a holler if you ever need a hand with your place. It's good for bringing our babies back to us. You found Dinah, Might, and a star piece. But where is Peach? Who knows? Also, I saw one thing on social media where apparently rather than like the hat takeoff, apparently like Mario and other characters in similar poses used to do like a peace sign. But that's not acceptable to modern audiences, so they had to remove it, apparently. <laughs> um, come back, Mr. Beetle. Don't you want to come to Boosters and play? Yeah, don't run away. We just want to play. We'll take good care of you. Sniffsters? What is this, like, that mob that got added to Minecraft? <laughs> the sniffer, I'm fairly certain. I uh, like what they said. Okay, Mr. Beetle. Gas mask wearing shy guy varieties. Thank you, dear. Touch that beetle. It's a present for Booster. That's right. Just hand it over nice and easy. Oh, uh, yeah. Like they said, or we won't be your friend. Booster really, really, really likes beetles, but he can't catch his own. That's right. He's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. We're catching beetles from. Does this lead into how we're gonna get Peach? So hand it over. That's right. Uh, pretty please? No, it's getting away. Quick, catch it! Catch it! Back here, criminal scum. Okay. I'm fully restored and everything, it looks like. Hi. Who's my per 10 store? Would you like a shiny stone? I don't think I'm trying to evolve a Togetic or anything. Bring fireworks and I'll give you a shiny stone. <laughs> You're a trade quest or something? Um, am I supposed to go catch up with those guys and get the beetle for them so that they show me the princess from the sky that turns out to be Peach or something? Like, what's going on here? Oh, what are you trying to pull, huh? You gotta pay me first or you can't ride the trolley. Not for that mini game, I guess. I have no idea where the heck they went. Quite frankly. Maybe I can just go to a new area now. Is there something new on the map? Yeah, there's this here. There's Booster Pass. Okay. That up there that I can't get to yet. All right, well, what's in Booster Pass here? Wow, everyone already wants to kill me. Uh, Man, playing Mario and Luigi makes me really want to hammer this. And I can't. It's Okay, I didn't even see what the heck was going on there. I'm... What the heck even? I'm out of here. See you later. Whee. Okay, this way, I guess. This way, away I go. I don't... Okay, they do jump out. Woo! Boink. Just being hidden back here. This is the fill-in unseen thought peak info into the monster list. It'll cost you three frog coins per entry. Some customers are eligible for a freebie. I'll fill in the entries for monster you fought before Mallow joined your team. Got four thought peak entries. Oh, so there is a point to doing thought peak then. Like it does keep stuff. Like. Where is there? I don't know. 
So I've definitely done it on a green book. But it doesn't show the weaknesses. That wasn't in a race timeline or something, was it? Because you'd think when someone's analyzed, like, it'll jot down their weaknesses and always be in, like, the book there forever, and it wasn't, so I stopped doing Thought Peak. It seemed like it was pointless. Uh, monster list agent, three frog coins per write up. But, like, is there actually a point here? Uh. Do that. I. Here we go. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Press A for secrets. Okay. Yeah, here's all these weaknesses. Jump, fire, fear, poison, sleep, mute. Don't be picky. Eat your veggies, kids. Uh... And it doesn't continue to show how much HP they have remaining. It'd be nice if they did. And just like, you'll always see how much HP that type of foe has for the rest of the playthrough. But nope. And I didn't even think that it jotted down weaknesses in the book, so... You. Hold on. Hold on a hot second here. Hold again. This. Okay, it does show the weaknesses there. How much HP they have. Now, it would be nice if it would show, like, in the battle how much HP they have, like, continuously then. You know, since I know what the maximum H- Like, what their general HP is, so I could always do the math and figure it out from here, but, like... You know. Why wouldn't the game just show me? It's like, what was that Fire Emblem game? Was it Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn where the hardest mode just, like, disabled showing, like, how far the enemies can move? But you can still just calculate it out, so it just ends up taking more time and being more annoying. You know, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So I guess I'll stop peek guys that I haven't peeked on the thoughts of yet. Something? I don't know. Something going on up here. Nope, that just unlocks the way further to here. I guess especially for bosses that I'd want to find weaknesses of and stuff. <laughs> 